all doing? Welcome to my review on the uh, Triumph Tiger 995 2006. Well, I've only done uh, about 30 mile on this. So far, but I must admit, every one of those miles, I have loved to bits. What we've got traffic lights here for? Most deserted road in Nottingham. Yes, you must admit that blue stands out in the morning sunshine. I've said it before and I'll say it again. What a lovely bike. So back in 2002 you could buy this bike brand new for just under £8,000. The bike has the inline three cylinder engine. Uh, the horsepower, I've heard conflicting information about that. Some people say it's 104 horsepower. Some people say it's 109 horsepower. And I've even heard some people say it's 125 brake horsepower. And the engine has 72 foot pound of torque at 6,000 revs. The top speed is 133 miles per hour with a six speed gearbox. The frame is a tubular steel cradle. And the fuel tank holds 24 litres. The fuel tank range is about 178 miles. Fuel consumption on average is 44 miles to the gallon. The bike weighs 215 kilograms. The seat height is 875 millimeters. The front wheel is 19 inches and the rear wheel is 17 inches. Uh, the annual road tax for this bike is, I believe, 111 pound at the moment. Yes, I don't know if you've noticed, but the engine management light's gone off. Apparently it's quite common on these if you take fuses out and stuff. When you start it up for a few times, your engine management light stays on. I think they call it the heat cycle. Go through a couple of heat cycles with the engine heating up and uh, it turns itself off. Let's do a bit of off-roading. <laughs>
the dirty 30. Okay then, my mark's out of 10 for this bike. Style. I'll give it an 8 for style. Not too keen on the massive fuel tank, and I'm not too keen on the front theory. But apart from that, everything else looks very nice. Number 2, performance. Engine feels good, riding feels good, but it does feel a bit soft on the uh, front end. So I'll give it an 8. Number 3, practicality. Yeah, it's great on the open road, but uh, I wouldn't really like to take it off-road, not on rough terrain, because the bike is very heavy, so practicability I'll give it a 7. Number 3, reliability. Well, I think overall they do seem pretty reliable. They do have the faults, which I'll mention later. But so far I'm pretty happy with it, so I'll give it a 9. Uh, value for money. Well, this one cost me £1,100, and I would say it's worth every penny. So, value for money, I'll give it a 10. Uh, there is a few bad points about the Triumph Tiger, which is the uh, charging system, as a lot of us know. It's the, uh, uh, another problem with these is you can't turn the headlights off, obviously, because there's no switch, so they're on constant. That's not much of a problem. Uh, the other downside is the uh, vacuum pipe is quite a long process, goes through the carbs, links up to each carb and then it comes back to the uh, to the magic box at the back, what's it called? BCU. They're like a plastic ripply effect pipe. And they tend to dry up and crack and split open and cause all sorts of problems. Uh, the fuel pipe where it connects to the petrol tank as well can be a problem. They can fall to bits when you're trying to remove the petrol pipe from the fuel tank. Another problem is the uh, thermostat housing. It is made of plastic and obviously that can fail as well, which I think mine is because every now and then I've got a drip round there. I've already done the water pump. The water pumps are a problem on these as well. I think if you uh, leave it in storage for quite a few months and then you get on the bike all the seals dry up inside or something, I don't know. So I've heard. I've already replaced mine. But it looks like I've got another water leak somewhere else. Your indicator's on. So there you go, hope the video was okay, I know I'm not very good at uh, explaining stuff, but I gave it a go and did my best. And I'll just say it once more, not this one, the Triumph Tiger, what a lovely bike. So yeah, stay well, stay safe, and on that note, I'll see you in another life, brother. I'll see you on the next one. Hello, Matty, where you been?